So imagine you're a company and it's Christmas season. You want to send this beautifully crafted email to your clients, informing them of Christmas specials and Christmas promotions. NodeMailer allows us to send these custom emails using a special HTML configuration. Now I can see that many of you enjoyed my previous videos on sending emails through code. Well, let me just tell you, you're going to love this video. Because in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to send those elegant automatic emails that you always find populated in your inbox. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Coding 101. My name is Kuto. My objective is to make you a better developer one video at a time. Now, if that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you've learned something new today, then like this video and leave a comment in the comment section. By the way, I would like to send a special shout out to BeFree.io who created this beautiful email template. No, they haven't sponsored this video, but if you're feeling HTML lazy, BeFree has these amazing HTML email templates. I just searched and I said Christmas and I got these uh, templates that you see over here. So if you're feeling lazy, you can just come over here and just create your own special HTML templates. They have some over here that are for free, like the one that I'm using. So be sure to check them out. So in my previous video, I showed you how to work with NodeMailer. I showed you how to send an email using NodeMailer. I showed you how to configure NodeMailer and send a simple text email. So in today's video, we're taking it up a notch. Instead of using text, we're going to be using direct HTML. So let me not waste too much of your time and let's get into our code. So I think you're already familiar with this. This is us only configuring uh, NodeMailer and we're going to use NodeMailer to actually send our emails. So you need to put your email over here and you need your application password. In my previous videos, I showed you how to retrieve your application password. Note that we're use, still using Gmail to send our automatic emails. If there's anybody interested in other, um, like maybe Yahoo or in other email sending um, uh, uh, services, then you can just like send an email. Then probably next time we'll use one of those. Okay. So we just created a simple function, uh, a, which is a promise that is sending our emails. And we took that promise and we created a route and we're using that uh, promise inside of our route to determine whether or not we were able to successfully send an email. So I'm going to make this route more clearer. I'm just going to say send email instead of just leaving it like that. All right. So the thing that we're going to be much concerned with is over here. You can see that in this part in our email, we're using text in order to send an email. So this is where we're going to actually be changing. Uh, we're going to get rid of this. And instead of having text over there, we're going to use HTML. And I'm going to put in some like um, template literals over there. And I'm going to extract my HTML. So this is the HTML that I got from bfree.io. So I'm just going to take that uh, email, I mean, sorry, that HTML source code, and I'm just going to plug it in here like that. Now, if you want to be much more cleaner with this, you can just like take this entire HTML and just like put it on a separate file and then just like uh, export it and import it from that file so that it's not messy like this. So you just simply put in this HTML configuration uh, field. And then after that, you put it, you put like your HTML uh, source code next to it. So one other important thing, one very key thing is that you need to make sure that your HTML is self sustainable. And what I mean by that, I mean that whatever files that are going to be working alongside with your HTML, whatever external files, make sure that they are not referenced locally. Let's say, for example, you have an image that you're using in your HTML. Make sure that you're not referencing that image locally, because as you can see, we're only giving node mailer our HTML file. We're not giving it our image files. We're not giving it our style sheets or our JavaScript files. We're only giving it our HTML file. So make sure that you're not referencing anything in a local manner. You're referencing uh, maybe an image that is already existing in the internet. So if maybe you have an image tag like, um, let's say IMG and uh, let's go and then we say SRC and then you try to do something like this and you say image.png. 
this image is not going to be rendered because this is a local reference. What we need is something like um, www.image.com uh, .png or something. So it needs to be referenced in this manner. It does not need to be referenced locally. Otherwise, that image is not going to be rendered. So the same thing applies to your style sheet files, to also your JavaScript files and many other items like that. So make sure that every things are not rendered uh, locally, but they're re rendered, uh, I don't know how I can say it, externally on the internet. So that's the one thing that you need to be careful of. And so once you're done doing that, once you're done putting your HTML in there, the thing that we need to do now is to actually just like test our um, API whether it works accordingly okay so if we go down and uh, let's see our API this is our API so we just need to test it and what we're, we're gonna test it using insomnia so insomnia is a free cross-platform desktop application that really takes the pain out of interacting with and designing HTTP based APIs so insomnia combines an easy to use interface with advanced functionalities like authentication helpers code generators code generation and environment variables so it's just an easy way to test out your application so if you can look at uh, you can look over here I've been using it for quite a while and in many of my applications so if you are not a uh, very a fan of postman you can always use insomnia so let's not waste too much time let's put in our our thing over there, our path, and then remember it's send, what is that, send email like that, and then we press send. What we expect to see is a, what do we expect to see? Let's go back to our, we expect to see a message called email sent successfully. Okay, let's go back to our insomnia. It's still running for some reason. I guess maybe it's my computer, it's pretty slow. I'm gonna pause the video. All right, and there we have it. Took a bit of time, but there we have our response. Our email has been sent in successfully, and all we need to do now is to go to our email and check if our email has indeed been sent successfully. And there you have it. About a minute ago, as you can see, our email has been sent. And you can see the elegance that you're seeing over here. A uh, very beautiful, a very custom email that you would send to maybe your users uh, so that they can maybe copy out a coupon or something. You can also add buttons here and make them responsive the same way that HTML works. So you can also further customize uh, this email and maybe say Merry Christmas and enter somebody's name here. That's precisely the reason why I chose to use template literals. Okay, so we're gonna send a specialized message with somebody's name. Okay, so we're just gonna say const is equals to name. I'm gonna call that rec.query like this. This should be fine. We're gonna give this name to our send email. And then in here, of course, at the very top, our function needs to show that we are taking in somebody's email. So, and then now we go to our HTML and we say Happy Christmas. Yeah, we actually search for where they say Merry Christmas. So, I, I'm guessing this is it right here Merry Christmas. And we need to put a person's name over here. So, I'm just gonna put uh, because this is template literals somebody's name over there. All right, so this should be fine. And it is a little bit complicated. That is why you need to own your HTML and you need to understand your HTML uh, so that you can better edit it. Or it's always better to just take the HTML and edit it on a separate text editor. Okay, so, and then what we need to do now is we need to go to Insomnia and actually invoke that query so this is going to be name and then our name is going to be coding 101 and now we send this pause the video wait for it to load it's done loading this time it took about five seconds so now we need to go to our email and you can see that it says new message and then we just need to show that message and there you have it merry christmas coding 101.
And of course, we can always expand this. So you can see that we've customized, we've actually put in our name over here, or the name of my channel. So Merry Christmas Coding 101. So it's as simple as that. You can also do it yourself. Nothing too complicated. So yeah, that is sending a very custom email using NodeMailer and HTML. So yeah, that is about it. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Make sure that you have subscribed if you haven't subscribed because I'm dropping lit content from here onwards and you do not want to miss. If um, you have any comments, you can leave them in the comment section. I reply to every comment. I mean, as many comments as I can. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time on Coding 101.